Hi, I'm Kevin Marley, and welcome to Barack Obama Cartoons, which can be found at www.barackobamacartoon.com. We are very excited to bring you cartoons of the 44th president of the so-called United States of America, Barack Obama. You can see the president as Abraham Lincoln, General George Patton, Uncle Sam, Commander-in-Chief, Superman, and many more roles. These are very funny and witty cartoons as the president talks to other world leaders such as Muammar Gaddafi, Kim Jong-il of South Korea, the Dalai Lama, and Prime Minister Gordon Brown of the United Kingdom. Additionally, we cover domestic politics as we poke fun of Democrats, Republicans, and independents alike. Barack Obama is a very different cartoonster. Boldly, it holds up a clear mirror to the present political situation in the United States, which is nothing too pretty to stare at. But perhaps the first and most challenging step of true and genuine political reform is to step back and laugh. Right now, we have important specials on a full 180-page color book of our cartoons and 52-week and 16-month calendars. They have leaked over 92,000 classified reports about the wars to everyone. Over a hundred laws have been broken, sir. They say Pakistani intelligence is aiding the Taliban. What's worse is we have the war financing bill looming in the house. And the insurgents are using heat-seeking missiles against us. It shows that the Taliban are stronger than ever. And it gets worse. How much worse does it get? Much worse. Our special forces sometimes hit innocents. We're in the fog of war. I think I need to take a leak. I will send my Taipan 2 missiles to rain hell over your Los Angeles. Whoa, Nelly. Wait, Kim, if you do that, we'll retaliate with full force. You big buffin, Barack Obama. You wouldn't dare. We'll stop sending you platinum blondes, and on top of that, we'll revoke your Netflix subscription. That would be a declaration of war. And you'll receive no more autographed Michael Jordan balls from us, and we'll revoke your subscription to all NBA games. Okay, okay, I send you Christmas card this year. We forget whole thing. Nobody understands me. I'm trying to bring together a great divided nation. Something's different. The red states and the blue states are fighting a great civil war. Yeah, yeah, if you squint your eyes a little, it reminds me of Antietam and Gettysburg. It looks just like Obama. Yeah! yeah. You know, I really do pity those poor devils, those rabid Republicans, during this national election. We're not only going to beat them on November 6th, but win back the House and keep the Senate. We're going to run through them like crap through a goose. Sir, your language? We're going to spill their golden coffers, attack using better attack ads, capture new red states, and make them wave that white flag again. So maybe you're uh, too much in character? Just tell Ike I need the Third Army again, and I can cut across the Rhine and into Berlin. I'm calling to congratulate you, John, as next Speaker of the House. Thanks, Mr. President. Excuse us, John. Chop, chop, chop. That's your Obamacare monstrosity on the chopping block, Mr. President. Try it, Buster. We're gonna rein you in. Like wild horses running on the Great Plains. You stubborn and idiotic donkey. You big, fat, stupid elephant. Anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to find common ground, move the country forward, and get things done for the American people. Me too, Mr. President. Uncle Sam wants you to perform your civic duties. Throw out those scoundrels in the House and the Senate of both parties. They're Category 5 hurricanes. And my fellow Americans, let's begin to solve these global and national crises before it's too late. On Jeffersonian ideals, 
and have another American Revolution based upon our founding principles. Where's the thunderous applause? We're on TV. Mr. If you liked our cartoons, please go to www.barackobamacartoon.com. You can join our fan club. If you do, you'll receive a monthly newsletter. If you become a patron or guardian, you will receive a special limited edition of our book. And if you become an angel, you will receive a signed copy of our special limited edition of our book, along with being recognized on our website. Please give important financial support to our cartoon strip. Remember these basic statistics. Only one or two cartoons out of literally a thousand makes it in today's economy. Right now we have the following levels of membership. Member, supporter, advocate, patron, guardian, and angel. I'm Kevin Marley. I'm the cartoonist of Barack Obama cartoon, and I hope you will join us. Thank you. Kevin Marley is a Seattle-based writer who has worked as a teacher, social agency administrator, software project planner, and project manager in the production of Jets. He has also written two novels, Nirvana and Day of Reckoning, and two nonfiction books, The Book of Life and Common Sense. He has also written Seeking, a well-received book of poems, and is presently working on his third novel to date, entitled The End. Kevin has extensively traveled and lived throughout Southeast Asia for about six years, in Thailand, Japan, and South Korea. And throughout his life, he has, through his writings, tried to create a viable bridge between both East and West. He's presently releasing six books through Human Spirit Books. His first book is Nirvana, which has been described as a book of high literary merit and a hybrid cross between Herman Hesse's Siddhartha and J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye. Kevin's next book is The Book of Life. It focuses upon ancient Taoism, and in it, Kevin offers 10 techniques for self-transformation. He also postulates how we can create an effective science and art of human development in the 21st century by combining both modern science and ancient wisdom. In his next book, Common Sense, Kevin writes about a new political paradigm for the 21st century. This book boldly lays out how we can engage in massive paradigm change politically, economically, and socially in an intelligent, constructive, and cooperative manner in order to confront the various crises of the 21st century. Essentially, both national and international politics will need to drastically change at all levels of humanity if it is to prosper this century. Additionally, Kevin has written a well-received book of poems, Seeking. Seeking is a book of transcendentalist poetry that goes beyond the senses and attempts to describe the world of self, or admin. It harkens back to Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Emily Dickinson, and Walt Whitman, and it mixes a so-called everyday life with magical or mystical experiences. Lastly, Kevin has written Day of Reckoning, a 400-page tongue-in-cheek novel about putting God on trial for both gross negligence and accessory to crimes committed against humanity. These books will be on Amazon.com very soon and will be brought to you by Human Spirit Books.